research. So today what we're going to do is we're testing this AR500 armor plate. This is actually rated level 3 plus. Now to put this in perspective, the round we're testing it with today is, well, M193. Now as you'll notice, we already did the testing. The footage at the range, of course, had noise issues yet again. So what I'm going to tell you is what we tested with. Now, mind you, this plate, level 3 plus, as rated by AR500, they say it should stop an M193 up to 3,100 feet per second, give or take 30 feet per second. So, basically, as high as 3,130, it's supposed to be able to stop an M193 ball. That's just a 55 grain jacket, well, full metal jacket. Now, first gun we tested with, 5.56 chamber, 1 and 8 twist and 18 inch barrel. This thing took a shot and well, you know, you can see that there's a couple of hits. So we're gonna review the footage on that, but before we go too far, we're gonna also introduce the other gun. Here's the other gun, it is a 223 wild chamber, one and eight twist again with a 24 inch bull barrel. This sucker's heavy, but it gets every last ounce of performance out of that 556 cartridge. So, let's take a look at the footage. Interesting. So these two got stopped. Now this one, you just saw the footage of. You won't see footage of this because there's no real difference. This one was 2167 feet per second, overgoing the actual velocity of the plate. This one was in the 2700 feet per second area. Now one thing I will say, when you feel these two, this one has a tiny little divot in the center, otherwise it's flush. This one is actually starting to dimple. But remember, this exceeded the rating of the plate. And of course, as you'll notice through these, you want the build-up coating. This is just the straight lining you get if you buy the cheapest plate possible because I was planning to shoot it, so I'm not gonna pay for the extra packs con to do that. But I might consider it <laughs> because after one of these hits, I actually had a piece of jacket go back five feet and hit one of our cameras, which happens to be an old cell phone that was getting this footage. And it embedded into the steel case of the phone, and I can't separate the two. So picture if that was one of your arms, your neck, this piece of copper embedded into steel. How much stronger is your flush? Now let's take a look at this shot down here. We won't show you the footage of this. I mean, it's really impressive, but it's nothing compared to how this one did. This lower shot, we got velocity on it, so let's play that right now. actual testing we used for this was Lake City 2009 ammo. But this one right here, 35, 85 feet per second. And it went through the plate. And I mean, looking at that footage, that's really impressive. But I'm gonna pull this back because there's a couple of interesting things I noticed here, and I wanna be able to show them to you nice and close. All right here, you'll see we've got two holes. Now, right here is a 55 grain 223 bullet. Actual diameter is 0.224. Here's something you'll notice though. That hole, both of them, are bigger around than the bullet. That means that it wasn't just a straight punch through, it actually created a wound hole through this plate greater than the diameter of the bullet. So let's fire up. All right, and let's see how big our caliper measures these as. Hmm, 0.308, that's a 30 cal hole. But that was across the small portion of it. Let's go across the larger portion. 0.318. Now, here's the one we know the velocity on. Let's go for it. All right. 0.335. 0.320. So, 
these bullet holes that were created in the plate are bigger than the bullet. Now, sadly, I don't have a camera fast enough to show exactly what's happening there. We're working on that. We should hopefully have one in our hands around the time this posts. And we're going to try and recreate this to see if we can find out exactly what's happening. My theory is when this hits, it stops. And I'll drop in a little bit of footage to show the splatter. Because when these initially hit, it looks a lot like these two hits. I'm thinking what's happening is this is hitting and then it's compressing. And then it finally, once this bullet is partially compressed, goes through the plate by making it give up. But I'm not sure on that. And I really want to see the actual physics on it. Looks really interesting and just a neat data point for you. So thanks for watching. I hope this gave you some, some great information.